Hey guys, it's Candy. Um, today I'm going to be playing for the kink, um, and I hope that you enjoy just a little bit of this sort of unintentional style ASMR um, as we play today. Um, I'll just kind of describe what I'm doing. And um, I'm going to be playing, I believe, uh, we will do Dungeon Crawl on Journeyman Difficulty. And um, as you can see, I've done it on Apprentice, but I haven't beat it on Journeyman yet. Um, so we'll try that. Um, three life pool, start with a tinder pouch. So um, this is basically a, you can play it with multiple people, but I typically play it alone. Um, and it's like a little turn-by-turn -turn RPG style game and I just think it is so cute so um, we are who do we want to play today um, I think I want an astronomer um, yeah and our, what should our astronomer's name be? Maybe we should make him, um, let's make him undead and let's have him, he's an astronomer, so let's make him look, ooh, let's make him look like he's a cultist, yeah. Ooh, with a top hat. And what kind of backpack? Let's just, a nobleman's backpack, that's fine. And I like the black for him. So let's call him Gerard. And instead of woodcutter, I think I'm going to go with gladiator. Um, and we'll do... We'll do... Let's do a demon, maybe? Yeah, let's do a demon. And let's pick out a gladiator uniform. Do that. Um... You know, the hat doesn't really stay, so we'll just, because once you put a hat on in the game, it changes it, so we'll do that, and we'll give her a uh, warrior backpack here, and we're going to change her colors around, do red, and then her hair color, do black, and that kind of goes together a little bit more. And her name is going to be Gertrude, Gerard, Gertrude, and I want a treasure hunter, I think, um, for this one. And he should be, well, I want to keep the cat. I'm going to keep him looking like this. Um, and then his name should be... Galvin. Okay, so we got Gerard, Gertrude, and Galvin. And let's start. So you almost always start in Orton. So um, she says, from Ferrule's dark corners, chaos generators are wreaking havoc. Seek them out and destroy them all. Alrighty, so that is what this dungeon crawl is. It's um, less story-based than the other ones. Um, so first, let's go and get a quest. We're going to reduce chaos because that is very important. So we'll get that quest right away. And that's a level one. So we're level zero to start with. So we're going to yeah, fight this. And I turned the uh, sound way down because it does get pretty obnoxious at some points. Okay, so this could potentially kill all of them. Oh, and there you go. That worked out great. We get a tinder pouch. Um, those two already have tinder pouches, so we'll just do that. And he is a treasure hunter, so we're going to collect on him, and then eventually we'll put a gold multiplier on him. And that's what we'll do there. Okay, so... And you know what, we're just gonna go right back because nothing else in that corner for us to do. 
I think we will try to, ooh, the Grand Sanctum of Wealth. That is super great to have this early on. And of course, we're gonna have Galvin have that. Um, he'll get the Gold Multiplier and Steel Immunity, which is really good. And then we're gonna have Gerard come up and try to attack this Beast and Warrior. And I believe, okay, that's good. Yeah, we get that other beastman in there too. Perfect. Okay. So I think on this one I'm going to... Uh, mm, yeah. It didn't work out as well as I had hoped. Okay, so that's going for a confuse. This is done. Um, and uh, so he has... So he has armor, there's um, armor and resistance. So armor is, um, of course I miss. Um, armor is gonna be, ooh, he's gonna make me bleed. Armor is um, physical damage blocking and resistance is magical damage blocking. So of course these guys are physical damage. And um, I guess we'll just go for the kill. Um, Galvin is bleeding not good. Um, I don't have a way to heal him at the moment. We're just gonna, he wouldn't be able to do any damage anyway unless I reloaded, but I think, ooh, I hope he doesn't die. As long as I get this out, then he'll stop bleeding. But bleeding, um, basically you take large amounts of damage, but infrequently. Um, so it's like every two turns, I think, you take um, quite a bit of damage, so I will collect that and, um, can he equip this? He can have a shield and his, his handgun, I guess, at the same time, which I'm gonna need to, oh, I'm gonna wait and have Galvin do that. Uh, let's see, um, we want to make sure we get actually, extra life, um, can be, be a pain. Okay, we just have to go to that place. That seems pretty easy. And an alluring pool. Alluring pools are used for teleportation to other areas. So each area has an alluring pool. So, um, okay, we're gonna attempt to heal you up. Perfect, now I don't have to waste anything. Nice day, gives you plus two movement, that's good. And then hopefully we can have, what is this? Buried artifact. Not the strength, strength is not the strong suit for Gerard, for sure. But hopefully we're close enough to get everyone into fighting this Acolyte camp. Um, we're still not level one though. Um, so I'm gonna engage this Beastman Warrior. Uh, just two of us can get in there, but that should be okay for now. Um, let's see here. I guess we'll just, yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, that's all right. Um, just one against both of us is not a big deal at all. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I forgot now Galvin's not in there, so we don't get the bonus, but that's all right. We'll equip that leather helm, get that right away. And um, so we haven't leveled up yet. Wondering if maybe we should fight this other guy up here as well. Or should I just go for it? I feel like it'd be a mistake to go for it because we are on journeyman, so it's a little bit harder. Um, actually, yeah, let's go around. Okay, Gerard, you can't get very far either, that's fine. So we do need to know that in 17 rounds we have to finish this, and in 18 rounds we have to go all the way south to that other location that we were shown to get our life um, pool gain. So I will take that immediately. So those are really good early on. Getting these statues gives you a little bit extra experience. 
got a level one. And I could, oh, I was gonna say, I could give him a little bit more movement, but that works out just fine. Um, okay, so. And he should be close enough now. So what we're trying to stay away from is chaos. If you get three chaos, you lose the game. And then there's these other guys here. These are called scourges. And the scourges, they each come up, um, you know, throughout a period of time. There, there's a lot of them, but I think you can have six max, and maybe more than that, I'm not sure. But um, the scourges each have a special thing, like this one, um, this is the bandit king, and when he becomes active, um, prices in the shops are like 20% higher. Um, and these guys are usually a little bit higher level than what you're currently at when they, when they come up, so. Um, okay, let's get this in there. Okay, so I can right click and use focus points to, um, so if I were to use focus, it would complete this automatically, but I can, if I go to the side, it gets rid of that. So, but we'll just, um, we'll just do that because uh, there's not really a need for us to use focus um, on one opponent versus three because we all would be able to kill it by the time it comes back to its turn, generally. Um, so we'll collect that. Um, yeah, he doesn't need intelligence, so we'll put the bucket hat on Galvin. And we'll move. There's the Bandit King's camp. So he's level two. We're level one and zero. So of course we're gonna wait on that um, until, you know, it's best to do it before they become active because I believe when they get active, they bump up a level. Um, so typically I try to get rid of them as soon as I find them, if I am able to. So, okay, poison, not a great start, but so poison, um, you know, it affects your stat rolls. So you can see these are our stats here at the bottom. Strength, vitality, intelligence, awareness, talent, speed, and luck. Um, luck is the only one that really can't be changed. Um, the only thing with luck, you can change it with items, but as far as like, unless you get cursed, um, these like poison stats, it, it affects all the stats, but luck, um, which luck, um, that's only on specific challenges. So you can see here, this is a strength based stat with these little arms. So, um, but we're gonna use both of our focus and see, I was able to get both of those done in one hit um, because I was able to do enough damage with the focus points. So, but with this, we will focus because if seven, we can get him killed, which I didn't need to, but um, that's just kind of how it works anyway. Um, and let's, what else do we have over here? Ooh, a cavern to test my skills. Yeah, but Gerard is not the person to be doing that really, I don't think. So we're gonna leave it alone. And um, poison is the only one that actually stays outside of battle. Bleeding, fire effects, frozen effects, they all leave after battle um, when the battle ends, but poison does not. And I believe also disease does not. So this is a speed-based stat and Gertrude has the best speed when not poisoned. So we're gonna wait for Gertrude's poison to go away. Of course, Gerard doesn't know how to do anything. Um, okay, good, we didn't skip a turn because that would have been a pain in the butt. Um, night markets are really useful. So this this up here is a night market and they are obviously by the name, um, they're only open at night, but they can be super useful and you can find really interesting items there. So we're gonna go ahead and go through this and hope that by the end of it, Gertrude is not poisoned and hopefully none of these bees poison her again. 
that's okay. Um, she can take them all out with this, potentially. Oop, I did not select the right one. That's okay. Four damage, and it does splash damage, but I can't hit that one because splash has to be um, to the enemy directly beside, so. Oh, and that's, that's too bad. Now Galvin is also poisoned. Permanent plus one to resistance. So Gertrude is the only one who will not be getting resistance bonuses, as many resistance bonuses with her armor because her armor is going to be strength based and armor based. So we're going to use that on her. Um, that was a really good find though. So I guess we're just going to have to wait and Oh, and it turned daytime. Shucks. I was say, I guess we're just going to have to wait until um, Gertrude is better, but um, I don't know if that's a good idea because the longer we wait, the closer to chaos we become. Uh, we'll try it. Ooh, yay. All right, we got some cave mushrooms. Okay, that's fine. Um, because the more fights we can get through, the more experience plus, the more turns we get through, um, the faster Gertrude's poison will go away. I think it normally lasts like three turns, I believe, but she got re-poisoned, so. Okay. So, collect that and hopefully by the time it's Gertrude's turn again her poison will go away doesn't look like it but we will use um, a golden root to give us a little bit of focus and we're just going to use all of it because we need to succeed on this so we're going to minus a chaos right away get that out of there as soon as the chaos level increases um, enemies become more difficult by I believe 10% more difficult or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but um, enemies become more difficult. So um, once you get one, it's really easy to get behind and get other, others. So, um, but I think I'm going to stop and rest um, using my tinder pouch and have everyone stop, rest up before we fight the this guy here. Um, that is definitely not Gerard's strong suit <laughs> strength. It keeps coming up for Gerard, which is kind of funny. Okay, Gertrude. And of course you can't even make it. Okay, so that's her special ability proccing. Um, when she's near towns and I believe like um, specific things, I think it's mostly just towns um, or like the night market. Um, she can entertain them and uh, gain a little bit of money. So that's kind of nice. Um, there's not really much for me to do until I can get Gertrude healed. <laughs> so we're just going to wait and pass their turns. Feels like kind of a waste, but there's not anything else I can do. All right, and we are gonna have Gertrude try this just for funds, why not? Okay, perfect. All right, rest it up now. Galvin will take us into battle. And then we do need to be heading over to that uh, place further south to get our life pool up as well. So. Okay, I think we're gonna start with this guy first, try to get him out of the way because this torch can burn us. Um, so that probably would be the most pain, painful thing to deal with is the burn. So um, do that, perfect. So with Galvin, I will be changing him over to be um, 
a bard style where he plays an instrument rather than using a gun um, because to me the guns just aren't effective enough in this game um, they have high damage but you can only you have to spend a turn to reload them so um, they're kind of a pain for fights that take longer like this isn't as big of a deal these fights but yeah now I have to reload um, these early on fights aren't as big of a deal but when I get to like the bandit king and bosses and things um, it can be really difficult having to waste your turn reloading um, so and we're just we're gonna taunt because no reason to shoot so level up awesome Awesome, a scholar's work gains experience, and we minus the chaos behind this guy, so we really just we're waiting on this guy now um, and trying to get stuff done before that. So, hmm, how do I want to do this? Can I move here? And then that's fine. I'll do this. Cool, what are we going to get? Some gold. And a hag's bane. Ooh. Oh wow, that's actually really good. Um, awesome. Um, so, and it's nighttime again. So our other um, thing that we're supposed to be doing is way down there. So we are gonna have to start making our way. Oh, perfect. At least we're all in the ghost of Lorekeeper Coil. The names that they have for these type of spirits are really funny. Um, they just have like a random name generator sort of a style for them. Um, and so they come out really funny uh, sometimes. So uh, this game is just so cute in so many ways. Like I love the art style um, and there's a lot of new content that has come out since I purchased it. and. Um, Actually, I think when I got it, I got it for free on the Epic Games Store. They do like once a week, they have like a free game, and I got it during that time. Um, but they recently had an expansion that I was able to get um, that had a, several new items and um, permanent plus one to armor. Who is picking this up? Oh, she is. Okay. Oh, right. I have to give her those other boots as well. Um, I guess whichever way, it doesn't matter. Oh, and now Galvin's going to be slow, of course. I should actually give the um, jawbreaker to him because his is not going to be all that good. So we'll use that. He's got the astrolabe. Um... Here. Oh, and there's the local arena, which we should do. That really helps gain um, experience, but it, it can be kind of difficult, so kind of got to be careful with it. It's easy to die in the local arena. Ooh. It's kind of nice, but mm, is it worth it right now? I don't know that it is. Oh, darn. A fountain fairy? Oh, no. And she's by herself because of this, too. Her attack is down. Oh, she gained glory. Now she has attack up, so that's good. She has to get a perfect to be able to hit these fairies. They have evasive, so they dodge any non-perfect attack. So it's going to be a little bit hard. She does not have any focus to help her hit. So, we, oh, and back down to six. So not even before at least one hit would, would do it. But now, and now they're protecting each other. Okay. And that's not going to hit. Okay. Oh, my gosh. It's just one after the other. Goodness, oh my goodness, this is going to be a kind of a painful battle. Um, 
they really don't do a lot of damage all at once, so I think maybe we'd be okay. It's just my attack being down is really going to hinder things. So I may need to, I might need to lead the battle. I'm going to use this. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Shoot. Um, okay, well... Yeah, and they just keep attack down, so we're going to have to attempt to lead combat to live another day. Uh, live to fight another day. Unfortunate. I can still try it again, but I'm not going to until I um, am able to... Uh, Oh, a treasure. Yay, that's cool. Until I have some points. Actually, I might as well try with him because he can focus on it. There we go. Awesome. I wonder if this guy... Well, he's got, he's got these two in the... Ooh, the glittering mines. Nice. Um, we might as well fight him because we gotta wait for uh, Galvin to get down there anyway, so... So, and he has resistance, so this type of, like, wizard um, typically has higher resistance. Shoot. There we go. Got that. So, um, ooh, a good luck charm. Awesome. So, well, anyway, this is... Seriously, this is just a cute little game, and I have played many, many, many hours of this game. I believe it's also available on Steam, I believe. I think you can get it in a few places, so um, I would definitely check it out. It's really not very expensive. If, um, it's almost always on sale, like every once in a while it'll be on sale and stuff, so I definitely would highly recommend this game. It's very, very cute. It's been out for a while now. So, but if you hadn't heard of it, um, yeah, so, um, pretty much all in, in, in this campaign that I chose, you go around fighting in these dungeons, like the Glittering Mines, um, and you fight, um, creatures back to back to back, essentially. So, like in these previous fights, um, you know, we fought these three creatures at a time, and then, um, when you finish it, you have time to heal up, and then you go to the next room, and the next room may or may not have a fight. It might have a trap that you have to disarm um, using your, your skills down here. Um, a lot of talent and speed-based skills for traps, typically. Sometimes strength-based traps. Um, you might find a goblin merchant who sells you interesting items. You might find um, a dead adventurer that you can loot. Um, so there's thing various things and then at the end of the dungeon there is always going to be um, a treasure chest um, that is not trapped because you can find trapped treasure chests that turn into mimics um, with treasure hunter which is why I chose Galvin as a treasure hunter his ability is that any he's a mimic whisperer so any treasure chests that are mimics um, he can turn them into non mimics um, automatically so, but only if he is opening the treasure chest, so you gotta kind of be careful, but, um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, like, little preview into this game, and I hope this was a little entertaining and a little relaxing for you. Bye, guys!